What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you'll see a Patreon account. You click it, you come remember. All you got to do is try to recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to. Now, with that being said, we are back here today with a review, a Patreon request. Sorry about my legal absence. I was battling a quick spell of illness, and I just had to bounce back. So I just needed a couple of days to, you know, get better. But we back at it again with a Patreon request for a movie by the name of Ravenous. This movie came out in 1999. Shout out to Derek from Movie Match for recommending this movie. I appreciate you, homie. But let's go ahead and get into this movie. So this movie stars Guy Pierce, Robert Carl, and David Arquette. I didn't even recognize David Arquette in this movie. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I didn't even realize that that was him. But the movie is about a, um, a soldier or a captain. Uh, he... He's basically gives up on war. He's in war. He gives up. He ends up faking his death. Uh, the enemies take him into the bunker, thinking that he's a part of the dead bodies. He sneaks out, ends up taking a whole camp to himself, right? When they find out that the sneaky shit that he did in order to do this, the, he ended up being, like, demoted and in exile to, like, Nevada or some shit with, like, a band of misfits with all the, like, rejects from the military. Um. Here is where they stumble upon a man that's damn near fro frozen to death who's just wandering out in the wild. And it turned, this man says that, oh, you know, he, um, his group got lost. They ended up starving to death. Um, so they ended up starving. So uh, they ate whatever they had or whatever they could find. And then they resorted to cannibalism. So uh, they, he made it seem like, you know, there's a chance that some of the other people are still alive. So they bring out a, a search party in order to find them. Uh, they little did they know that this man ate everybody and literally was setting them up to eat them too. Um, this, like I said, um, so that's basically the idea of the movie of uh, them basically fighting the guy. And it, it turns out that he's, um, the Wendigo myth about if you eat the enemy, the, the flesh of an enemy, you get in their power, but then you have like this undesirable, like unquenchable, thirst or you know you just you have this bottomless appetite to just consume flesh and that's where the idea of, from the title ravenous comes from now i'm gonna keep it a buck uh this movie to me is like revenant before the revenant came out revenant is fucking a million times better than this movie by the way but this one is like it's pretty well done but me personally there's some things that i have some gripes with um what i will say the positive is that um robert Car carl or carl as um uh what is his name Col colcon colkin or Col colonel ives and shit the guy the crazy guy the one that was all frostbitten that dude did a freaking amazing job as a crazy person like i legit bought into it 100 he was a dope villain he was tight as that you know that person like you know the antagonist or whatever so he was dope as that i, I liked him Everything else in the movie is like, whatever. Guy Pierce, uh, I mean, isn't I think he's in a full Monty or some shit. Whatever, bro, his his role was okay. He wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It wasn't something that I'm going to applaud. Uh, the movie itself isn't something that I'm going to go crazy over. I, I'm going to be honest, at times I found myself a little bit bored with this movie. Um, a lot of people applaud the score of this film. A lot of people say they really love it. I didn't like I really didn't me personally I wasn't really into the score I felt like the score was kind of all over the place sure there were a couple of numbers that I was like okay that's pretty cool okay that's pretty dope but at the same time like overall I feel like this is like I feel like a lot of the tracks in this movie don't fit the movie if that makes any sense um also I wasn't really digging the Wendigo idea the idea that these people were actually consuming flesh and getting stronger with each person that they eat and the whole idea of like creating a, a a stopping path where a lot of people stop so you could just eat as many people as you want that's pretty that was pretty whack bro i was really hoping that this movie was going to be like this guy is going crazy because he had to consume actual flesh that's what i thought i thought that all of this stuff was a hallucination and at the end when they found him in a bear trap they were going to just find him by himself that's what i thought i thought it was all going to be a, happening in his head I thought it was going to be crazy that I felt like that would have made more sense than what we got. The movie itself, like I said, it's whatever. Um, I wasn't really too, I, I, like I said, in, in times I really found myself bored. I looked away from the screen a couple of times. 
it, it was it really had a hard time to keeping my interest like I didn't find it as entertaining as I thought it would be especially because you see the genre is a western horror which there's not too many of those other than what is it uh blood tomahawk or bone tomahawk the, the western with um uh my boy in it but anyway um yeah so overall like I said then they had the movie had that guy the one with the blonde hair and the, like colored eyes that dude I swear to you plays a villain in every movie and like I said David Arquette I didn't even notice him in this movie I think he was a drunkard guy like the crazy drunk guy but like I said, overall, the film is okay. It's not something that I would go crazy about. It's not something that I would rave about. It's not really something that I'm crazy about in general. So uh, thank you, Del Boy, for recommending it. This is not probably a movie I'm going to watch again. It's not a movie I'm going to purchase or put in my top list of items. But it was a cool watch. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. But that's my review. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Whatever the case may be, drop it in the comment section down below. And you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. I hope you guys are having a magnificent day and adios. Stay safe.